What's up, Met fans? Welcome back, Talking Mets here, Rob. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. Before I get into the Jackie Bradley Jr. updates, if you enjoyed this video, guys, please don't forget to press the like button below. And if you enjoy all my videos and like my content and want to see more, please don't forget to press the subscribe button. And don't forget, click on that little bell to get the notifications for all my videos. And you get a notification on when I do my live streams. All right, guys? Thank you very much for your support, all right? Thank you so much. All right, so exactly what's going on with Jackie Bradley Jr.? Well, according to Andy Martino, while both sides uh, have mutual interest, they still seem to be far apart in a value of the contract and money. And basically, the Mets are looking for a short-term deal it seems like they're trying to only get Jackie Bradley Jr. for like two years. I don't think they want to go more than that. And what Jackie Bradley Jr. is looking for, uh, what you'll see right here, he, is that he, he's looking at more of the, the Denard Span contract and Michael Bourne. So specifically with the uh, Michael Bourne, I'm um, sorry, De, the Denard Span contract was for three years, 32 million, which averages out to be 10.6 million a year. And if you look at the Michael Bourne, contract four years 48 million that's 12 million 12 million a year now those uh aavs 10.6 and 12 million is not that much it, was, it seemed like that was that that's the price range i wouldn't mind going for jackie bradley jr between 10 and 12 million i don't think that's uh a bad price range at all but it seems like the mets don't want to go more than two years and probably, maybe they don't even want to go up to $10 million with him. Maybe they're looking to get him for an eight, seven, eight million dollar a year. So it, it it's really interesting to me because, like, we know Jackie Bradley Jr. is really, really good defensively. We know that. It's obvious. But, you know, you can't really shortchange players either. I mean, he's not the greatest offensive player. I get that. But... He's a good player. You know, he will solidify center field for you for the next couple of years. I don't see why you wouldn't want to go three years. Like, I would go three years, even 11 million, if you want to go in between 10 and 12. I would do that. You know, he's not Mike Trout. You know, he's not even Michael Brantley. He's not Michael. He wasn't Michael Bourne at, when they were good. Donald Span at that time. I mean, it's just, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what the, the Mets are trying to penny pinch here a little bit. Uh, with Jackie Bradley Jr., which maybe I understand a little bit because they are trying to go for Bauer. And according, you know, with the whole Bauer situation seems like it's turned into the Dodgers' favor a little bit, you know, speak on Bauer a little bit. So the, the Mets don't seem like the favorites at this moment with him. But coming back to Jackie Bradley Jr., if you look at his stats uh, from 2016 to 2019, I'm going to leave 2020 out for a little bit. I'm going to talk about that in a little while. Uh, in 2016, he was an all-star. He was 26 years old. Played 156 games. He had 26 home runs, 87 RBIs, and he batted 267. That was his all-star season. Next couple of years, everything went downhill. You know, he, he played a lot of games, but offensively, he just wasn't as good. You know, I don't know if it was, you know, the league catching up to him. Maybe it was Boston putting him in the wrong spot in the batting order. Maybe not a lot of protection behind him. But in 2017, in 133 games, he hit 17 home runs, 63 RBIs, and he batted 245. So you could he every year from his All Star season, he trickled down and got worse every year. I'm going to keep on going. In 2018, played 144 games, batted 234, 13 home runs, 59 RBIs. As you can see, continues to go down. In 2019, he got a little better. A little better. 147 games, 21 home runs, 62 RBIs. He batted 225. His average wasn't good. And if I'm looking at the strikeouts, he had a lot of strikeouts. He had 155 strikeouts, which was, which was a lot in his career. The most in his career. So he started, to, he got worse after his all star season in 2016. In 2019, he seemed to pick it up a little bit, but his batting average was very low. But like I said, I'm going to go right to the 2020 season now. In 2020, 
In 55 games, he played a lot. He batted 283. He hit seven home runs, for, and he hit, let's see, 48 RBIs, or if I'm not mistaken. Let me just make sure I got it right so I don't give you the wrong information. Yeah, so it, it was 23 or 48 RBIs, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was 48 RBIs, or 23 RBIs. It was really good. And, you know, can we expect him to get better at the age of 30? He, 30, 30, 31? You know, he'll probably have maybe one or two really good years in center field and probably slow down a little bit. But it seemed like he found a little bit of what he was trying to do in 2019. And in 2020, he even got better. But what I want, want you guys to really focus on is that Jackie Bradley Jr., 100% should be a Met. No doubt about it, in my opinion. And there's a few reasons for that. Number one, and this is the one I like the most, he plays every day, guys. He does not miss games. From 2016, he played 156 games. 2017, 133 games. 2018, 144 games. 2019, 147 games. And in the shortened season of 60 games, he played 55 games. So he plays every day. So you can you can expect him to patrol center field for at least 145 games at the very least. But you can always spell, you know, give him a little break too. You know, you also got Heredia that's on the bench that can give him a break every now and then also, guys. So you really got to look into that also is that he plays every day. As you know with the Mets. Over the years, guys cannot stay healthy. Nimmo was even hurt or with the neck issue. Even Juan Lagares, when he was a patrolman center field, he was hurt a lot of the time with his foot. He just, he got hurt a lot too. And, and Nimmo is obviously better than Juan Lagares and Jackie Bradley, Judy, uh, Jackie Bradley Jr. offensively. But defensively, Jackie Bradley Jr. is probably a little bit more better than Juan Lagares defensively. Probably, if not more. So I, I think that Jackie Bradley Jr. found a little bit offensively over the last two years, and I think he can get a little better offensively. But you have to really focus on the defense because this lineup has a lot of offense. We're not looking, you know, yeah, I know we tried for Springer, and that would have been even better offensive offense in the lineup. It would have just made it even better. But are we really looking for a lot of offense right now? Let's focus on getting our defense intact so we can help our pitchers out. There was too many times over the last couple of years where the defense killed our pitching. If it was the starters, it was the bullpen, no matter what inning, it seemed like the defense, the defense always figured out a way to screw them, screw the screw the game up for the pitchers, no matter if it was the starters or the bullpen. So Jackie Bradley Jr., I really think the Mets need to get him. You know, I know a lot of people would live. We're getting Nimmo, but I honestly think that the Mets don't want Dominic Smith to play left field every day. I think if they are forced to, they will, but I think they would rather have Nimmo in left and Jackie Bradley Dooney in center. And then you can figure it out at first base, depending on the pitcher, the righty or the lefty, to put Dominic Smith at first base, excuse me, or Pete Alonzo. So I, I, I think that it just makes this team better. And defense has been the Achilles heel for this Mets team for too many years. Let's give our pitchers a chance to win games, knowing that he can he don't have to worry about the guys behind him. And that's what you guys, that's what you guys want. You know, I mean, I know you guys want that too. You know, when the Grom's on the mound and he's pitching a, you know, a one hitter going into the seventh inning. You don't want the defense to hurt in a one-run game. You don't want us to hurt it. You know, if you the Mets haven't scored runs for these for this for Degrom either, or a lot of the pitchers. It just seems like we are extremely focused on who we already have. Then how can we get somebody to make us better? And Jackie Bradley Jr. is no doubt better than Nimmo in center field, and he will make our defense in the outfield much better. Nimmo is a better left fielder than a center fielder. It's just it's proven. Look it up. It, it seriously, guys. It it would help us out. We know we know Comforto in right field is really good. Jackie Bradley Jr. and Nimmo that outfield's it's sick. And I still believe that there's going to be a DH in 2021. <clears throat> Excuse me, in 2021, I think there will be a DH. So I'm not 
100% worried about Dominic Spin not getting at bats. But it also leads to Pete Alonso probably DH and more. And Dominic Smith at first base, who is the better defensive player. So Jackie Bradley Jr. gives us a lot of options. And it puts us defensively in a better position to win baseball games. Because as we know, we see it all the time in the playoffs. Defense and pitching wins World Series, wins playoff games. You always see it. The teams that hit their way to a division title somehow doesn't do well when they face the best pitchers in baseball in a five game in, in the division series and in, in the NLCS, ALCS, in the championship and in the World Series. So, guys, you we we I know we all don't agree, and that's okay. That's why sports is fun because we we all have our own opinions about who we want. Some people want Jackie Bradley Jr. Some people want Amara. Some people want us to trade for Kiermaier. There's so many different opportunities and players we want. And that's what's great about being a Mets fan. That's what's great about being a baseball fan and a sports fan in general. Our opinions matter. If our opinions didn't matter, I wouldn't be doing this video. You wouldn't be watching. And we would just watch the game and be bored. But we love this game. And we love our Mets. So... To wrap it up with Jackie Bradley Jr., guys, Jackie Bradley Jr. wants more, I'm assuming more years and more money than the Mets are willing to give. To wrap it up again, guys, Denard Span, three years, 32 million, Michael Bourne, four years, 48 million, million. That's where Jackie Bradley Jr. is looking at when it comes to a contract, which averages out between 10 to 12 million, depending on the three year deal or the four year deal. So it seems like the Mets don't want to go much higher than probably a two-year deal at between eight and ten million. I don't think they're gonna to want to go more than that. And I wouldn't mind the Mets spending 10 to 12 million on Jackie Bradley Jr. I think it's a fair offer. I don't think he's asking for too much. So I think it's imperative for the Mets to get this guy. Helps out of the defense. And over the last two years, he, he did do pretty well offensively. And he seemed like he figured things out offensively the last two years. And he, I think he would be a perfect addition to this lineup, to this defense, and to this team. He is also a good guy in the clubhouse also that we love to talk about. That's all we talk about about with Bauer. Yeah, is he really that good as a pitcher? He's a, You know, he won the Cy Young last year. But Trevor, is Trevor Bauer a, a problem in the clubhouse? Do players not like him? Jackie Bradley Jr. is a good guy, good clubhouse guy. We got a lot of those guys. It seemed like they would gel well together. So, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. This was the Jackie Bradley Jr. update video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like the video. And if you like all my videos and my videos to come, please, guys, please subscribe and click on that, that bell notification button so you can get all the notifications when I post my videos and I, and I go live uh, certain days a week. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And let's go Mets.